have a nice day students <coughs> today we are going to start with the first lesson about the text entry in a computer before we discussing about the details of the text entry in a computer we can go back with a glimpses of the text entry methods we were adopting in the ancient ages in the previous ages we were used with the stones and metallic pieces embossed with the letters is used to print a text or matter into the paper after uh, we were using the stone to print the paper we uh, transferred to metallic uh, hammer this the bit the tip of the hammer may be embossed with the letter and this letter is used to print on the paper and the paper and the ribbon uh, will be sandwiched in between a metallic roller and a hammer uh, this were, was the old method we were using to print to take print out actually at that time uh, the technology were purely mechanical it was a mechanical device uh it was a mechanical machine not a device it's a it's a machine we call this machine when i was uh, uh, i was uh, studying in the 10th standard i studied this the operation of this machine the, uh, we call this machine as typewriting typewriting machine uh it was very interesting but there is a limitation uh, for typewriting <coughs> and uh, also we need some skill to speed up our typing we can gain this speed by repeatedly uh, typing uh, the letters uh, there is a, a special type of uh, uh, keyboard layout we call this keyboard layout as qrt qrt q w e r t y because we, uh, we uh, you can see the arrangement of q w e r t y letters on the keyboard in the first in the first row in the top row that is why we we, we are calling this kind of uh, keyboard as a qrt keyboard QRT layout keyboard. There are different type of layouts is available, uh, and la layouts is uh, uh, is existing in this world. Dwarf layout, and there are variety of layout. But uh, majority of the people are using uh, this QRT layout keyboard. Uh, this is the traditional keyboard. <coughs> so uh, after the mechanical uh, machine, uh, there was a lot. Of, as, as I told you before, we are, there was a lot of limitations. uh when we use the uh, typewriting machine uh, the co correction uh, is not possible in a smooth way that is the main problem of the mechanical typewriting machine when we type uh, accident accidentally when we type a uh, uh, erroneous matter uh, we must use the whitener and uh, the paper will not be uh, neat uh, neat at all okay so uh, it is not good for correction and also <coughs> uh, the typing with the mechanical assembly uh, may cause to wear and tear uh, of the uh, elements and uh, there are lot of other limitations <coughs> for mechanical typewriting machine after some years uh, around uh, uh, i saw that machine around uh, 1992 or uh, 1992 or 1993 Uh, i saw one machine uh, it's uh, it's an electronic machine not mechanical but purely mechanical it's it's a uh, electro mechanical machine we can type the letters uh, and uh, that machine will store we can see that matter uh, uh, inside the lcd monitor uh, it was not a, a fully uh, lcd monitor uh, fully developed lcd monitor uh it it was in an obsolete manner uh, we can see the typed matter and we also we can uh, do the correction before typing the matter and after the correction we can hit uh, one key on the electronic typewriting machine then only that matter will uh, print uh, with the mechanical assembly <coughs> mechanical assembly means there uh, there will be a hammer uh just like the mechanical uh, typewriter and this electronic circuit will operate this ham hammer and uh, will help to uh, take the print out 
that was the second generation after again around five years later uh, i saw one machine one computer machine in kundangulam town and uh, uh, at that time i was uh, asking uh, that person uh, it was cost around uh, uh, one lakh fifteen thousand rupees for one computer machine. The year was 1997, I think. Uh, but at that time, the computer was not supported with the graphical user. It was character user interface. We need to uh, study uh, different types of characters, uh, uh, sorry, different type of uh, commands to interact with computer. At that time, the operating system was DOS. There was no graphical interface. Uh, so, we need to study the commands and we, if, you, if we want to create a file inside the DOS operating system, we need some commands, copy con, uh, I can memorize uh, right now, uh, copy con command is used to uh, create one file. The main uh, advantage of the text entry with the computer is it is very easy to create file and it is very easy to correct that file. That was the main advantage when we compare the technology of computer with the electronics and the mechanical assembly. <coughs> because uh, the data is residing inside the computer as a soft copy, we call this type of form of data is a soft copy. After that, <coughs> we can take a printout with a specialized printing device. Uh, Actually, in that age, uh, the prevailed uh, printing technology was uh, uh, dot matrix printing and uh, inkjet printing and laser printing. It uh, depends the uh, technological aspects we need to examine to describe about these uh, about these printers. It is not the, it is not relevant to uh, our syllabus. So I am not going to dig more details. <coughs> about the printing technology. <coughs> I am sorry. So, these are the uh, processes or evolution processes uh, we reached, uh, we, we were handled, we were uh, faced uh, before we reach in this particular uh, position, in this particular age. Uh, so, nowadays, uh, at the time of the DOS operating system, we can enter the data into the computer and we can edit it, there is no problem, but uh, it, it, it was not possible the formation of the text and also we cannot deal with the images and, um, and moreover we cannot deal with the uh, formation of the text, that is the main problem. Formation means you cannot uh, increase the font size you cannot change the font color, you cannot change uh, the um, uh, paragraph formatting, line spacing. There are immense of operation we can do uh, with the modern uh, word processing software. So, so these, are, these facilities uh, was not available at that time. Uh, after those, uh, uh, at first the Microsoft introduced a graphical platform that was uh, Windows 3.11. At that time, uh, word processing software uh, uh, were introduced by the Microsoft Corporation uh, with uh, less uh, uh, letter formatting facility. So, it was the that was the first step to end uh, the computer into the advanced word processing uh, technologies. Now. Uh, we may have heard about a lot of word processing softwares uh, that is uh, uh, LibreOffice, uh, OpenOffice and uh, Abbey Word and uh, moreover we may, may, we may be much more familiarized with the um, uh, MS Office, Microsoft Office. It is a package, package actually, uh, this package contains uh, different uh, application software. Uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, uh, database like that. So, uh, this is proprietary and uh, uh, almost all the facilities uh, is included in the open source software or the free software too. Now, in our operating system, our Ubuntu operating system uh, is installed with uh, LibreOffice. LibreOffice is a community 
uh, Lib uh, Libar is a community. Uh, uh, they are creating <coughs> the softwares uh, for office automation purposes. So that is that is a scenario, or that is a, a different uh, phases uh, we were faced uh, before we reaching in this particular position. So uh, nowadays we are using character user and graphical user too. Uh, in graphical user, uh, you can enter text with very easily. Uh, uh, you can. Uh, uh, edit the text, format the text, you can change the color of the font and also you can deal with the images, you can, you can insert the image inside the uh, word processing software and uh, you can uh, increase the size and decrease the size according to your requirement and you can align the objects in your page, uh, left alignment, right alignment and the centering the page is also possible. Uh, so, these are uh, all is possible with the advanced latest word processing softwares. So, now the letter reaching in computer is our letter uh, text entry in a computer is uh, very interesting and it is very easy to handle. So, this is the first topic uh, in our uh, eighth standard. Now, I am going to conclude with this topic. Uh, now, uh, we can continue uh, with the remaining topic in the next class. Okay. Thank you.